Good morning, model builders. Uh, Tom for Model Building by Tom. Um, as some of you may have noted, it's been a couple months since the last time I really did anything on the channel, and I apologize for that profusely. Um, there is reasons for that, um, and I'll go into that right now. Um, the main reason um, is because and I'm doing ums too many times again. Main reason is because of the new glasses I've got. Uh, before this little viral fun started taking place here, um, it's two twenty. It's twenty twenty, so if this is beyond twenty twenty for you, and you don't know anything about it, look it up. Before this started, I had just gone in and got a prescription for new glasses, fine and dandy. Um, the doctor said, uh, you know, we were going to go ahead and pump things up to a two point seven five and. During our conversations, we were just kind of BSing a little bit. He, you know, he recalled that I had said before that I like doing model building, and he suggested that maybe I might like it if we bumped it up from a 2.75 to a 3.75. I'm like, oh. So he went ahead and showed me, you know, through the lenses how things look like with the 2.75. I'm like, everything looked nice, everything looked, uh, you know, fairly sharp. Then he pumped it to a 3.75. Not only did things look nice and things look sharp, they were bigger. I'm sure you can see where I'm going with this so far. So I was like, oh yeah, Tom Reich. So what did Tom do? Tom went ahead and got his prescription filled in his old frames. Because they were in you know, good condition, otherwise it was going to cost me another what, 60 to to $100 to get new frames. Why do that? I'm cheap at the best of times. Maybe I should say frugal. We're model builders. We recycle stuff to go ahead and do those kit bashings. Anyway, so I went ahead and uh, had the glasses made. I had just gotten them in right after the beginning of March. Wore them for a few days, and after about 10-15 minutes, I started getting a little bit of a uh, headache, eye strain. Went on in, talked to the optometrist that I got the glasses from, not my doctor. And they said that uh, you needed to go ahead and talk with your doctor because I would need to get their prescription adjusted. They didn't understand that we went ahead and voluntarily went up to a two, from a 2.75 to 3.75 for the enlargement factor. And they couldn't do anything. So, made the appointment. And it turned out that the day of the appointment was the first day that they had gone ahead and closed non-essentials at the facility that I go to, which if you live in Northern California, I go to Kaiser, um, and their clinics are pretty much one-stop shop. Um, you want to see your regular doctor, get you know a basic X-ray, get your prescriptions filled, um, you know, get your lab work done. You can kind of do it all in one in one facility instead of bouncing around from place to place. So, I my appointment was for a. Monday and the Monday they had shut down everything for non-essential services and unfortunately optometry is considered non-essential. Now that being said, um, back on April 28th, I'm looking at the date here, um, on Adam Savage's uh, YouTube channel, he did a piece on wearable magnifiers and I, you've seen me wearing my you know, old uh, one. I think I paid five dollars for it. Um, you know, it's done a very good job for me over the years, and I've even gotten it for um, some other people, including Steve Neal. And if you know modelers, Steve Neal is, you know, a very nice guy. Um, his broke a number of years back, and you know, quite a few years back now at this point. And I wanted to show some appreciation, so I bought him a couple sets of uh, replacements. All right, so like I said, April 28th rolls around. Adam Savage on his YouTube channel, and I'll go ahead and place a link at the bottom um, of the video. And uh, his piece on wearable magnifiers, and he shows various different types, but he shows his favorite. Now, I was a few hours late in seeing this video, and when I got ahead and finished watching it and saw what he had, and he listed it in Amazon, they were sold out at that point. Now, I did manage to find, uh, a few days later, a different supplier, 
couple dollars more versus other suppliers that were wanting instead of like twenty dollars they were wanting sixty seventy eighty dollars I was like yeah, no um, not when I was able to go ahead and potentially get the same one from Adams supplier for like twenty in the twenty dollar range twenty to twenty to thirty somewhere around there I don't remember um, so anyways they seem to be okay um, I'm not able to go ahead and work with them as comfortably as I'd like to um, because they are of course as most visors are they're kind of a short distance and I like to be able to go ahead and pull the rig off or you know pull the visor off and be able to go ahead and keep working using just the regular glasses which like I said after about 10-15 minutes I start getting eye strain and whatnot and I have to pull them up get comfortable again then put them back down so Again, I apologize. Um, the link will be below, and I need to work on going ahead and stopping the arms. So, I'm hoping everyone's doing okay. I'm hoping that uh, people are, you know, staying safe, uh, enjoying their model builds, and I hope to get back to this and start showing some stuff here shortly. One hopes. So, again. Happy model building. I will be posting up here shortly um, some new stuff. At least I hope so real shortly. Take care, everyone. Have a good one. Enjoy your 4th of July. Bye-bye.